The train tracks for Taichung Metro's Green Line have been successfully laid, and today the line was put through its second ever test run. This time, the focus was checking its fitness for climbing slopes and turning bends. Wang Yichuan, the head of Taichung's Transportation Bureau, declared the test a success and is optimistic about the progress of construction. Although the line is not scheduled to be finished until late 2020. With its bright green casing, the train crawls along the tracks at less than 10 kilometers an hour. It's being tested for stability when it encounters slopes and bends. This is the second test run of Taichung MRT's Green Line. It's running from Jiao Beituan Railway Workshop Station to G4 Beituan Songju Intersection Station. This is just good, ah. Not completely no discomfort. It's a smooth ride. There's no queasiness. We also climbed up Taichung Metro's steepest slope, which is at a three percent angle, and we turned the hardest bend on the line with the shortest radius, just 100 meters. The head of Taichung City Government's Transportation Bureau took a test ride and declared himself satisfied. During this trial, the carriages are being manually operated. But when the entirety of the green line is officially opened, it will be an automatic driverless train. There will only be two conductors on board to watch out for unexpected occurrences. That we expect in this year, this year. We predict that this train will be able to reach the intersection of Taiwan Boulevard and Wenxin Road this October, and our goal is that by the end of the year, it will advance to the HSR station. Taichung's Green Line has 18 trains in total, each composed of two carriages. When they're full, they can carry 536 people each. First trial runs are slated to begin at the end of next year, and the whole line is projected to officially open in late 2020.